Is it difficult to ride 15 hours per day, 1000 kilometers on a motorcycle with nearly no sleep, days in a row? My name is Karol Smielauskas, I'm from Lithuania and um, sometimes we call me adventure rider. As I say, um, scenery is not the most important thing on my rides. Main purpose is my internal explorations. I like to use old uh, Buddhist technique with a simple question, who am I? So um, while asking a question, who am I, I'm playing a game which looks like a bit of the onion, so rejecting all the possible answers mind can give. This practice gives a chance to see that none of answer can be good. So I'll give you an example. Riding 1000 a day is a bit of a ride, right? On a motorcycle is a lot. And it might be in Russia like 12 to 15 hours a day. And riding 1000 two days in a row or three days in a row, in a cold, in a the rain, then having a meetings in the evening with local communities is a bit of a challenge. And when it comes as a challenge is exactly when processes are starting. 1000 kilometers, 12, 15 hours, not enough food and uh, very few hours of sleep on day 3 and 4 is okay, but on day 15 is already something accumulated a lot. And when I arrived to the obstacle called air freight, which could be simple in one way, it's, uh, I was staying in LA, Los Angeles, California for maybe 6 days or so because my motorcycle was kept in the customs too long. I knew that if I stay that long in one place, I will have to catch those days and to continue with my plan. So what resulted on the end that landing in London very few days before the finish of the ride, I had to wait again for a bike too long. So basically what is happening now is uh, uh, half past eight in the evening here in London and I just received the box which I expect to have my bike inside. I have 2000 kilometers left to my home and I have to start riding in less than 12 hours from now. After 38 days of the round the world traveling is uh, it's not the best time to speak too much. So hopefully all good is there. I'm on the way tomorrow. On the rides like this, for instance, in Siberia, it's not so often to have a proper food. And it is absolutely important when body is challenged so much to have enough vitamins inside of the body. So that's why I'm using Wellman food supplement from Vitabiotics just to maintain vitamins and other stuff in my body. What it gives, it gives me sharpness and strength during the ride. On the end, it happened a little bit less than 18,000 kilometers ridden. I arrived to my hometown, Ruskininke, where I started two minutes ahead schedule. You can imagine you cannot plan that well, but all the circumstances brought to all this that I arrived on time. On the end, it was not 40 days, but 25 days only of riding and 40 in total, including all logistics. Was it difficult? Of course.